Welcome back to my channel for a new video and today I have a H&M spring slash summer haul for you. So I haven't filmed a dedicated H&M haul on my channel for so long. Whenever I do film like these style videos, I like to do it as a collective one, but we are going away next month and I've seen some nice new bits on H&M. They also did a sale last week as well. So I thought I'm gonna order some new pieces because I don't tend to shop that much in the summertime, but I spotted some really nice like staple capsules, some of bits in there that I know I can style at home as well as being away. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into my haul video. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with a really nice elevated spring summer basic. So this just isn't a plain jersey ribbed vest top, it's actually a knitted one. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera there, but it's really beautiful quality. And I just thought for the spring summer, I really wanted a nice elevated vest top which I can sell in the evening times for more smarter occasions again perfect for taking away I did stay true to size in this and I got a size small it also comes in the black too and I really love the scoop neck detail the only thing about this cream one is that it is slightly on the see-through side so say if you wanted to wear this without a bra I could sort of see through it a little bit so I would wear a strapless bra with this you could potentially wear covers but you might still see them too with me being on a bigger cup size I just have to wear a strapless bra with it but really beautiful quality I just love the fit of it too then next I have some knitwear so I'm sure you're thinking why are you buying knitwear in the spring season but this one is actually a shorter sleeve knit so I do have a cream jumper like this in the mohair in the long sleeve which I also have in grey and I have in black and I style them so much I've also been reaching for this under the stories cream one all the time so I was just thinking for the spring it'd be really nice to have a shorter sleeve style and I do have a little grey little t-shirt style knit from stories and it just goes with so much so I thought I could sell this with some nice cream trousers even some black ones some tan accessories and it is a mohair wool blend so this was half price in the sales so whenever I do shop in the sales I always look for like really premium pieces like wool and knitwear and you do tend to find some really good discounted knits this time of year so do keep your eye out but I ended up saying true to size in this and got a size small I'm not sure if they do it in any of the colors either but I thought for the spring I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Then next I have some really beautiful trousers to share with you. As soon as these arrived, I was honestly so impressed with the quality. So as you can see, they're a beautiful like pinstripe trouser, but they're like a linen blend. And I love this drawstring detail. I thought for taking away, it would be absolutely perfect. I could travel in these, I could wear them daytime, but also I could style these at home. I totally wear them with an oversized t-shirt, even with my blazer, a denim jacket. I just think they're very, very versatile and the quality is lovely. So I actually stayed true to size in this too and got a size small, perfect on me. I could have maybe sized down to a size extra small, if I wanted to but sometimes I find that H&M drawstring trousers if I do size down I find them quite sometimes tight on the thigh on me so I always tend to just go for a small now then next we have some colour and a really beautiful pastel piece so I absolutely love these style jackets especially for the spring I was toying between whether getting a baby pink one or the baby blue one and the baby blue one just stole it for me they also do this in cream they do it in beige too but absolutely beautiful quality I can't wait to style this with my white trousers some tan accessories or even my cream basket bag and I did stay true to size in this and got a size small sometimes I've ended up sizing up in these jackets but for me this is completely fine I think it's because I like to style them open more than done up so I like to make sure that I can actually do the buttons up and they sit nicely and not sort of restricted but it fits really lovely really great on the arms and the shoulders too and the buttons are also really lovely on this so really nice quality and I'm looking forward to adding some color to my wardrobe this spring then next I have another sale find. So I was after a nice pleated skirt in the autumn season, but I couldn't get my hands on one. So I spotted this one in the sale. So of course I picked it up. 
I thought it'd also be nice to style up with blazers, like have a belt over the top and wear it for an evening time, but also wear it in the daytime too. I was thinking this skirt would also look really nice styled with a white vest top just tucked in, maybe a little belt over the top and some ballet flats or some sandals and a basket bag. Just really simple and really elegant. And also if any of you work in an office, this would make a really nice spring workwear piece. Also say true to size in this too and got a size small. Then I have two other good sale finds. So these were so cheap, I swear. They were literally under 15 pound and they were super cheap. So I was after some sort of like, I don't really have many dresses. I always sell my videos. I'm not a dressy girl, but I do tend to film my capsule wardrobe videos. I always get comments like, where are your dresses? Where are this? And I'm just like, I feel so much more comfortable in maybe skirts and separates. When it comes to the spring summer, I do like to sort of wear like midi dresses, like shirt style dresses. And I was after some more like sort of everyday throw on fitty dresses, but perfect for travel for taking away and I spotted these and usually I don't go for like sort of like fitted pieces like this but because of the crinkle fabric so it comes in black and also in this really lovely like cream like stony color and with it being crinkled it just sort of distracts from anything and they're honestly like so comfortable so the straps are also adjustable too which is a game changer I just find sometimes dresses like this never have adjustable straps so it makes them extra comfortable. I also say true to size and got a small in both of these. They are super stretchy, like so stretchy. And I was thinking to potentially style them with a shirt over the top, maybe a linen shirt, or even I could wear my denim jacket over these, even underneath the blazer, like a linen one. I just think, yeah, they're a really nice length, very, very flattering and such a good price too. Then next I have another little elevated basic for you. So I actually have this top already in the stripe version from last year. I'll pop a little picture on of that. But I wanted it in the black and it completely sold out. So as soon as I spotted them land again on H&M, I had to order it. I find that H&M are so good at dropping those good staples from the year before, which completely sold out, and they always bring them back in different colors. So I thought, I get this one, it's super nice, super timeless. It's also a nice alternative than wearing t-shirts. I'm always such a t-shirt girl, I just love to feel comfortable. I think little tops like this in the spring, summer, are a bit more dressy, a bit more elevated, I can get my arms out, get a little bit of sun, and I also got this in a size small. Then next I have some more drawstring trousers, which I thought would be perfect for taking away with me. I love the print of these. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a matching shirt or something to this because I thought, oh my God, I really love the print of this. I wish I could find the matching shirt. So I'm going to keep hunting in case I have done it sold out and I completely missed it or I might just try my local H&M store. But I thought for going away, these are so great to throw on. Whether that's by the pool or walking around, you can literally pop them on with a bikini top. You can even style these up as well for the evening time, wear a nice bandeau, some heels, a red lips, some nice accessories. Super simple, but I would also totally wear these at home. Like I could totally sell these at home, in the city, in the summer. Very, very versatile. They do these in so many different colors too. I've seen some really lovely like beige version ones, some black ones. I wanted the black, but the black had sold out in the small. They also did them in khaki, like striped. There's honestly loads of them. And they're also a really great price too. I swear they're only like 14, 15, 99. Such a good price. So like I mentioned already, I went for these in a size small because I find that these sometimes do come up on the small size. So yeah, definitely would recommend staying true to size. Then next I have one piece of swimwear. So where are we going? I'm gonna need a sort of like nice sort of swimsuit for a day. And I'm not gonna try it on because I'm not very confident trying on swimwear or anything like that in my YouTube video. So I'll pop a little picture on of what the swimsuit looks like because it also comes in black too. So it's a really nice, beautiful cut out style. And yeah, I didn't think at first it would fit me. I read the reviews on it and it did say size up. So this does come up on the small size. So I feel like with swimwear, because I'm a bigger bust, I tend to go for more 10, 12s. Especially in bikini tops, I have to sometimes get a size 14 or a 16. But with this swimsuit, I got a size 12 and it fits fine. I think if I'd gone down to my usual size 10, this would not have fit me. Like it would have been like really tight. I would have felt a bit uncomfortable. And also the crop bit here, because I'm like a bigger bust girl, if I'd gone a bit smaller, I think my boob would have been hanging out to the bottom. So then I say true to size, but I really love this chocolate brown color. And what I like about swimsuits like this when I go away, I like to sort of style them as like a bodysuit too. So I would totally wear this in an evening as a bodysuit, maybe with some trousers, 
or maybe a nice skirt. I just like to sort of like mix and match things. And I am tempted now to get the black one, so I really like how this sits. It's also really lovely quality as well. I tend to sort of stick to like darker colors with my swimwear. I have got some cream ones, but I tend to wear them. I'm quite cautious wearing them because of sun creams, like marking them and whatnot. And I tend to not go for like really sort of like, they did do a similar style swimsuit like this in a khaki green like olive color which i absolutely loved but i thought when you're away sometimes those colors as well show up like sweat marks and i didn't want to have sort of like sweaty patches on my swimsuit but yeah i definitely would recommend sizing up in this swimsuit because it does come up on the small side then i have some nice spring summer pajamas i absolutely love h&m for the pajamas i'm always buying myself a fresh new set for a new season whether it's for the winter time for the autumn i love their festive ones but i really wanted some nice sort of like light summer like stripe ones and i went for these they're a really beautiful like white with the pinstripe with different blues these do come as a set too i find that a lot of h and pajamas do come as a set which is a game changer so i did say true to size and got a size small in this they are like a very oversized style pajama but i tend to just get small because i like how that fit but you could get away with it sizing down but yeah i'll link some more of their pajamas because they've honestly got so many nice ones at the moment i also wanted to mention if you follow me over my instagram that i like to sort of do like h&m new in edits which i share on my ltk i'll pop some pictures on of them i tend to sort of share my new like pics my wish list i also did a sort of like some my like holiday style edit so i'll link the images here for you but i'll also link them below down below for you in the description box so you can shop them so make sure you do follow me over my shop ltk it's where i link absolutely everything i also link things which i don't always post too so sometimes you see it first over on my ltk before you see it on my instagram so yeah i just wanted to mention that in case you don't follow me already now on to some accessories so i picked up some new like chocolate dark tan sandals i do have my june ones which I wear all the time but they're more of like a lighter tan and I really like the richness of these they're really really beautiful and I thought they would go perfectly with my new Loewe basket bag which you've seen on my last video they also do these in a black too I stay true to size in these and I got a size six I've only tried them on they do feel comfortable to pop on I'm hoping that when you do wear them, they are comfortable to wear too. They do feel like really smooth on the inside. There's nothing sharp or nothing digging in. Also, the sole too is a little bit cushioned. They're not like too flat. What I love about my June ones is that the cushioning on the sole is just really, really thick. That's why they're honestly so comfortable. I wear them all the time. So yeah, they're also a really great price too. H&M have got some really good sort of like dupe like designer luxury sandals on there at the moment. They've got some really good dupes. So I think if you're after some nice elevated accessories for the spring or summer, then definitely have a look over H&M because I've seen so many beautiful pieces. I've also seen a really lovely bag, a tan one, which I'll put a picture on here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got this sort of like canvas style with the shape. I think it's a shape fit, which looks really premium. And I didn't end up getting it because I didn't need a new summer bag, but I just wanted to share this one with you because it's a really good find. Then next I have some new ballet flats to share with you. So I wear my M&S two-tone ones all the time. So they have the black tip and they have the suede sort of tan side. But I wanted some which are more of like a beige and a more lighter cream color. So I spotted these on their website and I thought they were a really lovely shade of like neutral and nude. And I really love the shape of the toe too. They look slightly like square, if that makes sense. And I also really like the bow detail has the little gold tips on. Just makes them look more premium. They also do these in lots of different colors too. I've seen them in gold and silver. I really wanted the silver pair, but they've totally sold out. I also spotted these like in a burgundy in the autumn winter, which I missed out on. So so when they dropped some new spring colors, I thought I'm gonna get these ones. I stay true to size two and the sides are really soft. I don't think that these are real leather, but they honestly feel like really, really soft. I don't feel like they would rub. So the sides here aren't sort of like sharp or cutting in or anything, but yeah, I just really love the neutral tone of them. Then I ordered some new court shoes. So I have these shoes from, I think a couple of years ago, but they were completely mesh in the black. And this sort of like mesh material is very on trend at the moment. I do love them in the ballet flats, the sort of like caged ones, but I'm just not sure whether, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not sure about them yet. Um, but I really loved these heels because I love my mesh ones in the black, but I thought for the evening time, they're really nice to dress up. They also look really nice with denim too. I feel like they're a great style shoe 
to like dress up or down and yeah I really love that the two-tone here as you can see it has the sheer bit here with the mesh and then it has a sort of concealed pointed tip they're also a really nice height too I always go for a slingback court shoe because I am not a heel girl but I do like to wear a sort of elevated court shoe like this with my spring summer outfits then next I have a little upgrade. So I wanted to upgrade my June sandals. So I've had these for God easily about three years now. Like I bring them out every single spring summer. I have them in tan too. My black ones are looking a bit worse for wear. They are honestly so comfortable. They've been everywhere with me. I'm still gonna keep them because if I go away somewhere, which I know I've got to do a lot of walking, then these are my trusties. Like I know they'll never rub me. They never have rubbed me and they're just good quality. But I wanted to just upgrade them and I spotted these on the H&M sale. So these are real leather. So these were, they should have been $44.99 and they were half price. So I thought, real leather shoes, I'm gonna have to get them. But I really love the detail of the stitching. And as you can see, it just completely elevates them. They've also got a square toe too. And yeah, I just had to get them. They also do them in the tan, but unfortunately the tan ones weren't in the sale. So I'm gonna keep an eye out to see if they do pop them in the sale or whether I just buy them. These do feel so comfortable as well. I have tried them on already. They are genuine leather. And I just think for the spring summer, I just wear shoes like this all the time. And I love a good dupe. And as much as I love the Hermes sandals, I just think you can totally get away with premium high street, really beautiful quality. They even have the stitch detail on. As you can see as well, the shape is just slightly different. I don't know how some retailers get away with these. They've also got the chunky version on too. I'll pop a picture on because these are also a really good dupe. They've just got loads of good dupes at the moment, so yeah. So I'm just gonna compare them to my June ones. As you can see, like this sort of cross bit is bigger than this one. I'm still gonna keep these because they are honestly so comfortable. But yeah, I think the stitching just completely upgrades them a little bit. And yeah, I just know I wear these sandals all the time. Then finally, I have a little bag to share with you. So I spotted this braided bag and thought it'd be really good for going away. Say if I have my basket bag, for example, or I'm going somewhere where I don't wanna carry a lot on me, I can pop it in this and wear it cross body it also make a nice little evening bag too but i was more getting this for the daytime and yeah i just love the braided detail i love this too and i just think it looks so premium like and you could also adjust this strap too you could potentially just tie a knot in it here and just shorten it but i just thought for going away it's a really nice little bag really handy or even if you're by the pool or whatnot if you don't want to take everything with you you can pop in your phone your purse like your little valuable bits and just wear it cross body and it looks so nice as well for the summer also i nearly forgot to include these in this video so i picked up some new earrings for going away first pair are these ones they did have some really nice like gold ones with a bit of silver in the middle but they were sold out so i thought i'd pick up these ones instead which i thought would be nice to start in the evening time I also picked up these ones too, which are really lovely. I love the leaf style and I think on holiday with your hair straight back and nice lipstick, these just look so nice. And then I also picked up these little ones too, which are minis of my Amazon ones. So I really like these little looped ones. They're sort of like, as you can see, very similar little dupe to the Bottega ones, but obviously they're mini. And I thought these ones were great to wearing around in the daytime because sometimes, many times I've lost my nice earrings and I've gone away because I've just, yeah, I've lost them. So I thought I'm gonna get some little earrings just to pop in in the daytime, which are just fashion jewelry. So if I did lose them, it wouldn't bother me too much because I hate it when I lose any of my Pandora earrings or Monica Vinader ones. I'm like, oh my God, I've lost the earrings. So I opted to get some little ones like these instead. So yeah, those are my new in pieces from H&M. If you guys have liked any of them today, then please don't forget to like this video. And also if you're new watching, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.